Okay guys, so this is a follow video to the special Bold Clash haul video that I made with all the parts that came in from Bold Clash on these second generation brushless whip builds and uh, based on the comments from that video I was pretty close. Uh, there were quite a few people that still wanted the 75mm build but more people actually were interested in the 65mm build and I kind of tend to agree that the 65mm build is more interesting because it's more like a traditional tiny whip size. So I put the um, 0603 motors in here, uh, along with the second generation flight controller board, which has uh, the 4-in-1 ESC and flight controller all in one. And uh, really the only thing I did here in terms of soldering is I soldered on my uh, receiver. So there's three connections there. And then I soldered on the uh, four wires for the FPV system, which is going to be the video in, video out for the camera and video transmitter and the power. Now, one sort of downside on this is that the video noise from this seems to have increased on this setup. I was flying this same pod here on the um, brushed uh, BWOOP 03 Pro. That's where this came from. And I didn't get as much video noise from that brush setup versus this brushless setup. And I think it has to do with the ESCs. Now, a little bit more video noise. It's not terrible, but I, I did notice that from before when I was using the exact same system here, the noise did increase and it didn't matter if I uh, wired it up to the 5 volt regulator or directly to the VBAT. So it was about the same for both. So that's something sh they should keep in mind. I'm going to advise them that they should uh, maybe look into cleaning up that video noise. I think it's coming from the ESCs, not necessarily the motors. Obviously you could possibly attach a small like tiny um, capacitor somewhere, but there's you know, not a lot of room here. But in terms of the build, that's all there is. It's just there's um, seven soldering points. Um, I did re-solder my battery lead. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I thought it was a little bit too long. Um, and then the plugging in the motors is just, you know, plug and play. You just, <laughs> the motors come with little plugs. You plug them in and, and you're done. You have to screw the, obviously screw the motors on and then put the props on. You still have to be careful that when you put the props on that you support that little bearing there because um, it does, if you push on the prop too hard, you, you, you can push the shaft through. And I actually pushed one through and actually had to uh, push it back uh, through the motor. So I think they did some sort of welding there to prevent that, but I think that it's not 100% not, not foolproof. So be careful when you uh, put your props on, maybe um, bore out a little bit of plastic in there just, just to ease on the, if you have a hard time getting the prop on, don't push on it too hard, don't force it. Otherwise you might cause the motor shaft to pop through. So just be careful of that. Um, but that's, that's pretty much it. There's not really much to this build. I did notice that on this frame that they're using rubber bands here for the battery. The battery was underneath instead of sliding into a little cage uh, like uh, on other frames. So I thought that was a little bit of a downside. They could have easily redesigned this so that this cage comes down further. So all I have to do is slide the battery in and out. And uh, I did use the, um, the same batteries I use on the 11 millimeter tiny whoops. The, uh, 1S uh, GNB high volts, and this is what it looks like. I'll put a link to these batteries in the description if you guys want to check them out. Now, in terms of the weight, this is the most interesting part here. It comes in about 23 grams, and keep in mind this is uh, brushless. And if you look at a tr more traditional tiny whip, this is the uh, Acro B um, from Newbie Drone. This comes in at about 20.2 grams, so this is about three almost three grams, maybe two and a half to three grams heavier than your traditional tiny whip that has the six millimeter motors. Uh, the seven millimeter motor tiny whips are actually closer to uh, the weight of this one here, around 22 to 23 grams. Obviously you could use a different canopy or something like that to lighten this up. Uh, there's a lot of alternate different methods you could do to get a little bit less weight. But in terms of power, uh, I would say that the 0603 brushless motors are more powerful than the seven millimeter motors, but less powerful than the eight millimeter brushed motors. Um, you definitely have more acro ability. Uh, you'll see that in a flight demo with the brushless versus the brushed. And of course the, the largest benefit here with this board, since it does D-Shot 600, is you can now uh, do turtle mode. So you can flip this guy over if you are landing upside down somewhere and just flip in the turtle mode, uh, if you have it set up obviously, and then you can flip it over on the fly. Whereas you can't do that with a uh, brush tiny whoops. So that's one of the bigger advantages of going brushless. So another thing to note on the power is that 
you do have to be a little bit more on the throttle with the brushless setup and it's a little hard to explain. Uh, you, ha you have definitely more power but I think that power comes a little bit higher in the throttle range so on the low end of the throttle you don't really have that much power it's more mid to upper you know like maximum power like I would say 50 to 90 percent that's where you get like your your most uh, control whereas I think on the seven millimeter brushed whoops I had more control in the lower part of the throttle band so you know like in the 20 to 50 percent range so that uh, could be a downside. It's just uh, something I had to get used to in terms of managing my throttle and the turns. Uh, but I thought overall this had more power, especially on the top end. Definitely had more power than any of the brushed tiny was in the 65 millimeter size. Anyway, so I know that a lot of you guys uh, that wanted the 75 millimeter build were a little disappointed. I'll ask them to send me another board, perhaps maybe with some improvements on the video noise, and then I'll try and build the 75 millimeter frame for those guys that are interested with the uh, the new 07, I think it was 0705 motors at 20,000 kV, so that looked kind of interesting. Um, yeah, but leave me a comment below if you definitely want to see that, and I could uh, I can ask uh, Bullclash to send me another board, because they only sent me the one. Uh, at this time of making this video, the board is still in pre-sale, so I don't think it's actually in production yet, so they might still be making tweaks and improvements, so keep that in mind. Um, in, any, in any event, I'm going to go ahead, I'll show you some flight demo footage uh, inside and outside. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.